Hello, welcome once again to another episode of my video on the real estate news. And my name is Si Wing Yi from the Yi Real Estate Network. And today I'm going to share the screen with the Redfin news once again. The housing, uh, this is dated uh, September 15th, uh, housing market update. Sellers lose the upper hand as mortgage rates top 6%. Well, that's a little bit over-exaggerated. They lose a little bit of the upper hand. Uh, I'll give you more details. High mortgage rates have bought balance to the market, but it comes at a high price for both buyers and sellers. So the housing market is becoming more balanced, but at a great cost to both buyers and the sellers. And currently there are 2.9 months of home supply uh, during the four weeks ending September 11th, up from one month ago, which was at the highest level in 2020. So to, as you know, a six month supply is a balanced market. We are at halfway towards that, but it takes a lot in my opinion to achieve six months supply anytime soon, uh, not probably not this year, uh, who knows? It all depends, right? And I will go with that. So 2.9% is still a very strong seller's market. Uh, it's not as strong as it was last year, 2021 and 2020, when there were in, in certain market, there were only like uh, three weeks supply or even one month supply of inventory. Uh, back in those days when there were multiple offers, bidding wars, and uh, everybody's bidding 30% over asking, and sometimes in some markets more. So right now we are, the pendulum has swing, has swung just a little bit uh, from the seller's market, a little bit uh, trending toward the buyer side, but still too early to tell uh, based on various factors. So the three months of supply available on the market, and here are the rolling averages. As you can see, uh, ever since back in May, we have seen, seen some uh, uh, uptrend, some surge in supply of inventory until they, uh, until uh, recently in the past few weeks when the uh, inventory has dipped a little bit and then went up again. So 2.9, again, is a slightly up year over year from 20. Uh, from 2021. 2021, same time that year, uh, is uh, is really around a little bit over two months of uh, supply of inventory. So uh, uh, that's why we have some very, very uh, bidding wars going on last year and even uh, starting uh, 2020 as well. Starting 2020, we're at two months of supply of inventory. So we are slightly uh, up to 2.9 right now. So we'll see the next three months toward the end of the year, what's going on with the inventory supply. But in my opinion, it'll be uh, less inventory. That is that is my, my opinion. I'll go over that later. So, and the potential sellers are reluctant to list their homes in this environment, which is why inventory is falling. So that's that's what's happening, and home buyers have more power than they had since the since the before the times, which is the past two years," said Riffin Deputy Chief Economist Taylor Mann. So uh, anyway, leading indicators of a home buyer's activity for the week's ending September fifteenth, thirty-year mortgage rate rose to six percent, their highest level since November 2008, which is, as you remember, <laughs> 2008 was at the uh, at the uh, center of the uh, housing crash, uh, which is uh, one of those uh, uh, most significant events in, in modern day history. Anyway, so I hate to bring back the, uh, <laughs> the bad memory for, for a lot of folks. And hopefully we don't get there. And I don't think we are because uh, today's environment is a lot different than 2008, where 2008, everybody can qualify to get a mortgage. Uh, therefore, the subprime mortgage crisis triggered the uh, the real estate crash in 2008. Today, uh, we do have a lot, uh, lot of homeowners that all have a huge amount of equity, like 40% of the homeowners they really, they have no mortgages. They are free and clear. 
and uh, uh, the other 60% of the homeowners that currently have a mortgage, they have very, very substantial equity in their homes, at least 20% down, which they did put down, uh, they purchased the property, plus the skyrocketing uh, home prices during the pandemic in the past 24 months at another 40% uh, growth uh, during the 24 months period. So yeah, people sitting on the equity, people sitting on the, uh, on the loan, on the like, most of the, most of the homeowners have a 4% or less on a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. So they have no incentive or motivation to sell a home and uh, to move up, move, to move up to a new home, which may cost 30 to 40% more. And they, the mortgage payment is 50% higher because the, they are exchanging, for example, 3% to 6%, which is definitely not a, not a good uh, not a good idea so fewer people search for homes for sale on google uh, uh, which is pretty obvious and uh, in fact 26 percent less people that search for homes for sale uh, based on the same time last year uh, home tours similar uh, home tour they were down 40 percent from the start of the year compared to eight percent increase at the same time last year and so the key takeaway from Redfin for the 400 plus US metro areas are as follows. The median price nationwide was 371,000, which is still up 7% year over year. So we are still seeing year over year appreciation from 2021 to 2022 as of September. And uh, no surprise, it, you know, I've been living in the Bay Area or for, for the past three decades, California always leads the way in terms of a uh, <laughs> boom and bust because of the, that's the way it is. It's a very, uh, they, California is a very cyclical market. So they go up and down a lot, but uh, still, and uh, yeah, it always leads the way and the rest of the country follows suit. So the home prices in San Francisco fell 8%, the biggest decline since July 2022, which is a few months ago, Oakland and fell a mere 1.6 percent. So I would say just dip just slightly. All right, and uh, it just that's the way it goes. The medium asking price of newly listed homes increased 8 percent year over year to 380k, and the monthly mortgage payment uh, on the medium asking price of a home is 2385, based on a 6% interest rate up 42% uh, uh, from 1674 a monthly mortgage a year earlier, which is uh, when the mortgage rate was 2.86%. Wow, this is a sh shocking, shocking event that really caught everybody off guard. So people are just uh, paralyzed. People uh, have a lot of fear. So people just, just uh, are in, in paralysis mode. They don't know what to do. They'll stay on the sideline hopefully wait out the, the, the crisis, as we call it. All right, and new listings of homes are down 19% from a year earlier. So we've seen the trend, right? Less new listings, almost 20%. And uh, active listings also fell 1.7% from, from the past uh, four weeks. And again, the supply of inventory shouldn't say increase 2.9% is quite low. So still a very strong sell of the market, in my opinion. It'll, it'll take, you know, you, you know, if you think if, you, if six months is a is a balanced market, so you need three more months of drastic increase in inventory. And I have not seen that, right? And the, I think especially during the last quarter of 2022, a lot of the uh, is typically a very slow time of the year. Most people are settled in with their school uh, for their children and uh, people just get back to a normal routine. So you, you're not gonna see too many uh, real estate transactions for the remainder of this year. So therefore I think the supply of inventory will, will be remain at this level, maybe even lower, maybe even two to two and a half months of inventory for the next three months given that the, a lot of sellers are, are are not willing to move at all because of the uh, 
really the higher interest rate and many other factors. So everybody's waiting, waiting it out, just just uh, just trying to weather weather the storm, if you will. All right, so let me see what's going on. Medium sales price again up almost seven percent appreciation year over year, as you can see, and um, of course in twenty twenty one. The homes were way less than a little bit less than three fifty. So we have seen have seen a tremendous amount of appreciation year over year from twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two. Same with twenty twenty to twenty twenty one because the, the medium price, uh, the lowest price point, medium price is less than around two hundred fifty k back in February twenty twenty, right before the pandemic. Then, uh, then you fast forward to today, around two years later. Uh, well, up here, the uh, the median price was higher, like a few months ago, uh, when the interest rate uh, was uh, was uh, very very low. Then uh, the, uh, the the rate hike has caused housing prices to drop from the peak right here back in July, now all the way to September. So we have seen see some uh, some dropping of prices, but then again. Uh, uh, the last few weeks, the the median price has slightly gone up. So, uh, so it de determine. So the, you know there are some price reductions, price drops. Every market is a little bit different. So I'm seeing maybe five to ten percent price drops in many markets. Some markets are higher in California, for example, and some markets like uh, in my estimation in the south and southeast, uh, there and uh, I feel a uh, very very healthy market. In that region of the country, so I do not anticipate too much of a price drops in most of the affordable markets in the south and southeast of the United States. All right, and uh, so we already went over that. Medium price has gone up over eight percent from year over year, and uh, based on three percent to six percent rate hike, <laughs> you know, to buy to buy a similar price home. Right now, with six percent, you have to pay almost fifty percent or forty-two percent higher in mortgage payment. So a lot of people are just. Uh, that's why the home affordability right now is a, is a, a 40, 40 year low at this moment. So it's a very very strange market. Buyers are can't qualify. They are the demand is uh, lower, and that the sellers are not willing to sell their homes because they are locked in a low interest rate and they have a lot of equity in their homes. So it's just a it's just a completely frozen market. I don't know how else to uh, uh to uh, to talk about it. Okay, uh, so we already went over this. Pending sales is down twenty percent year over year. So that is uh this is a trend. Look at this, look at this trend. This is a pending sales. Is uh that's why inventory is going to be lower based on this uh since May, June, July, August for the past four to five months months. Pending sales has been decreasing this year, 2022. Whereas in in 2021, we have seen a lot of big uptick, rising, rising surges. So the market has really shifted so much in the past 12 months. So uh, it's very interesting. I so here's my. Uh, I think that's all I have to say. There's nothing more. That I want to go over, and my takeaway is this: it's still a very confusing market. Uh, I wouldn't say uh, we're going through. I think we're going through some just a, a a normal, really a normal market, right? And uh, normal in a way that we, it's become healthier. The, we cannot sustain this triple digit appreciation in the past two years. It just can't happen. You know, we just, you know, the three percent. Historical rate is just a, it's just a once in a lifetime situation. For those people that took advantage of it in the past two years, uh, more power to you. Congratulate you for to taking the bold, courageous action, and you are being rewarded with extremely high equity. Hopefully, you don't lose too much of it in the next for the foreseeable future. If there is some sort of a bigger correction, so six percent rate. Now, here's my my takeaway once again. If the interest rate, if the mortgage rate goes any higher than six percent moving forward, we are we could have a lot of problems. We're going to see a 
a bigger correction. We're going to see more price drops. But if the interest rate maintain itself at 6% uh, or to 5.5%, we're going to see a, you know, a healthier market. And uh, let's let's see let's see what what's going to transpire. And the other factors, the around the uh, recession fears and uh, how people think about the economy and the uh, job losses, uh, if there was any. Right now, the, uh, the the unemployment rate is has been one of the lowest in the past forty years. But you know, some people predict that there will be some job losses. Who knows? Yep. If you are, the consumer confidence is uh, is is key. Uh, right now, consumer consumer confidence is very it's pretty low, right? 70 70 percent of the of the people they they do not have the confidence. They do not uh, feel it's it's a good time to buy. Seventy percent and thirty percent of the the people feel uh, they uh, if they if they if they qualify if they ready to buy and uh, they want to stay at the house long term. Right after the storm, the thirty percent still. Or motivated to, to purchase, so uh, consumer confidence, uh, how they feel about the economy, how about, uh, how how the recession going to impact people's behavior, how severe or how mild is the recession, uh, the jobs situation, the job report, uh, 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 also important. People are just waiting to see. Hopefully, uh, nothing gonna gonna be severe. And uh, if, and finally, the interest rate. If the interest rate are going to get lower than uh, five point five percent, maybe five percent, uh, you know, uh, in twenty twenty three, we may see more buyers' activity coming to the market, and we may see sellers willing to sell their homes if the interest rate goes down to about five percent. So that's my key. The key is five percent interest rate. That's my hope. Otherwise, uh, it's a fair game. All right. So that's my takeaway. Thank you so much. Uh, for this uh, quick update. And uh, if you uh, like this video, uh, please click the like button uh, to increase my YouTube channel visibility and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I produce weekly real estate information uh, on what's going on out there, real-time information, critical, urgent information we all need to, uh, to be informed about. And finally, uh, uh, again, uh, I also help people Real estate investors to buy investment properties in the, in the best affordable markets in the country. So if you want to be part of our in, uh, uh, investors uh, community, you can you can uh, log in to my website below and um, sign up for our uh, weekly newsletters with your email. You could become a free member of our organization, so you have, a, have access to great real estate investment information at your fingertips. Thank you so much. This is Siwin Yi. Have a nice day. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.